Okay, welcome back to the channel. This one is going to be a quick one. I was just watching a video from a YouTuber called uh, Cold Fusion. In the video, the guy talks about a new AI tool that can create music. This is just mind blowing. As you know, I've been diving uh, into kind of AI tools and how to use them in my workflow. I've been working with Stable Diffusion for a while. I love it. Uh, I, th I, th I think those tools are super, super cool and the things they can do are just out of this world. So the new tool I want to talk to you guys about is called Udio. Uh, at the moment it's in beta. Uh, there's a website and you can kind of experiment with it. It's free for now. They are already kind of trying to release paid plans to maybe give you some more freedom. But I spent half an hour on this tool and it's just unbelievable what you can do. First, you can give it lyrics. So you can type in lyrics. You give it a, a theme or a genre you want the, the kind of the music to be generated in. And you can kind of give it many prompts like, you know, you can write the chorus for the, the, for the song you, you're requesting. You can put the genre of, of the, like what styles, is it pop, is it hip hop, uh, country music, whatever. And within minutes, you press enter, it gives you two tracks kind of related to the prompts you gave the, the app. It's just freaking unbelievable how good it is. I'm just gonna show you two examples I did. At the moment, there's a limitation of 30 seconds. Uh, so it gives you a 30 second kind of track but then you can use the tool to extend the track. You can change uh, verses, you can sh insert chords, you can like, there's a lot of kind of space for improvement. The tool is good, but this is as bad as it's ever gonna be. The tool is definitely gonna evolve very, very fast, especially now that they've kind of opened this to the, the, this beta version of the app to the public and people are going to be given feedback and ways that the tool can kind of be better. Let's jump into the computer and you'll see the two tracks I have created. So I'm going to type Irish folk, Enya and ambient. That's going to be my prompt. Then for the lyrics, I'm going to type under brackets, verse, freedom, wilderness and magic make this land nostalgic. I'm also going to type a course again under brackets, see the green, hear the wind, Ireland, Emerald Pearl. And that's going to be it. We just have to wait a few seconds while the track is being kind of processed in the background. And once that's done, you get two tracks and you can play them back. Freedom So as you can see, the results are just unbelievable. It's absolutely crazy that an app can create music. And and I can only imagine how good this app is gonna get. And even if they put like a paywall or something, the fact that anybody can compose music without actually having any background in music, it's just unbelievable. I'm pretty sure musicians are gonna hate this. This is scary good. And we'll have to see how kind of the general population takes this because in my opinion, this is crazy. 
So I would like to know what you guys think. Would you consider using a tool like this in your content creation practices? Do you think this is crossing a line that should not be crossed? Anything that you have to say, I would love to know. Write comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.